the scum. I've been meaning to make this video for years, and I'm finally getting around to it. This is every shadow stormtrooper imperial guy that Hasbro's made in the three and a quarter inch scale. Now, I want to preface. This is not every black Imperial. There's no Death Star Troopers, there's no Death Star Gunners. However, I did feel like it would be kind of fun just to throw in two figure variations of the Death Trooper. I don't feel like the Death Trooper technically counts because it's not designated as like a shadow, but come on, it's 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 a black elite ops stormtrooper. I figured I would throw him in. Um, so yeah, here we go. Here's all the variations. And actually, for the most part, all the unique armors. Um, they didn't really duplicate any armors. Now, granted, there is a 5 POA Death Trooper Specialist um, that I don't have, but, I mean, I have the Death Trooper Specialist in Black Series 3 and the quarter inch, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I, I didn't figure I would worry about that. So, let's talk about the Death Troopers first, because they're the ones that most people are probably the most familiar with at this point. So, this is the 5 POA Death Trooper. This is the one that came with uh, Moroff, right? I think this came with Moroff. And... Uh, Neat figure. I mean, it's 5 POA. The silver is pretty bright on him. Uh, he does come with his Death Trooper blaster, which is a pretty cool gun design. The Death Trooper design is still, to this day, one of the best new Trooper designs that Disney has ever done. It's so intimidating. It's so great. I can't wait to see it in the Mandalorian. It was really cool to see him in Rebels. The Death Trooper is... I mean, Disney knows they have a really cool Trooper on their hands now, and they're definitely not putting it to waste. Love the Death Trooper. This figure, though, it's 5 POA. It's pretty bland. Nothing too special. But, we've done a review on this guy already. I did a comparison with the 6-inch Black Series. The 3 and 4 inch Black Series Death Trooper, on the other hand, is something to behold. This is one of the best uh, 3 and 4 inch figures they've put out in a very long time. Articulation's amazing. Um, you can get him in so many great poses. You can swap him from being a specialist to a normal trooper. I have two of this guy. I have one without the gear and one with the gear. Um, he comes with the pistol as well, even though he doesn't have a holster for it, unfortunately. He has really great range of articulation. Probably the best, objective, best figure on this entire list. Uh, just because it's, it's just newer, and it just has a lot of detail, and it's really great. Definitely recommend this guy. They re-released him in Vintage Collection. I actually want to get that to have carded, but I have yet to see it. That's the uh, one of the only new TVC figures I've yet to see. Anyways, let's talk about the Stormtroopers. Let's go over the ones we've already talked about in the Force Unleashed video. This is the Phasing Shadow Stormtrooper. I um, already talked about him uh, very recently. I love the translucent, clear, kind of black, sort of not necessarily clear. It's definitely a Shadow Trooper. Um, I love the blue as well to kind of see the electrical look and the actual technology that goes into him phasing. Uh, cool figure, man. I really like it. Just I, I just hope it doesn't break because it's made out of clear plastic. And then, of course, we have the Force Unleashed style Shadow Trooper with the uh, kind of more the gray and the silver gunmetal look. Um, love this design. Like I said, uh, it's just a really cool design of the Shadow Trooper. Uh, definitely not just a straight up Black Storm Trooper. Definitely has something special going on with this design. And I like it. It's a really nice figure. I already went over the articulation on this mold, but I'll go over it again on the upcoming figure. This is probably my favorite version of the Shadow Stormtrooper. Uh, it's kind of like the Vintage Original Trilogy Collection version, just black. It's basically, basically what this figure is. Um, really great articulation, really great range at the head. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, waist, hips, they just move swivel, but it's an older 3 to quarter inch. It checks out. Um, he has the Z11. He looks great. He was released in both the Saga Collection and 30th Anniversary Collection, I believe. Uh, really great. Really great figure. Highly recommend. Uh, probably the one I recommend the most out of all the Shadow Stormtroopers. Then next up, we have a recolor of the 30th Anniversary version of the Stormtrooper as a comic pack Shadow Stormtrooper. You can see he's got some different colors going on. Uh, I definitely dig these colors, but not as much as the flat black. And because he is the 30th anniversary remold, he has a removable helmet with the uh, Tamora Morrison clone trooper head underneath, which is neat. He has scars, which is I, interesting, I guess. If you have them all without their helmet, they all have the exact same scars, so that's kind of funny. But yeah, um, <clears throat> not a huge fan of the 30th anniversary stormtrooper, honestly. So, I mean, hey, it's cool, though. It's cool. He's not. He's never going to yellow because, hey, no white plastic. But he's... Uh, He's just not that special. And the thing he came with with the uh, comic pack, too, was just like a little character hologram thing. Not really an action figure, so that kind of stinks. Anyways, 
let's talk about another Force Unleashed guy, uh, the Shadow Royal Emperor's Guard, or the Shadow Guard, if we just want to be simple about it. Oh uh, yeah, already talked about this guy. He is just a repaint of the original Revenge of the Sith, uh, Emperor's Royal Red Guard. Uh, cool figure, man. I love his Force Pike. I love the Saber Blade. You can remove the blade if you want and just have the, the pike, which is nice. Articulation's kind of swivelly. Uh, he definitely has a lot of swivels going on with the elbows and the hips, nothing at the ankles. Um, but he does have armor underneath. I'll try to show you some of it. Uh, if you want to have him with his armor showing, you can kind of lift it up. He's got some armor. I'll have to fully remove it. I, I always, I, I know I have his pistol with my accessories. I am just always forgetting to reunite him with it. So <laughs> there's, there's a shadow guard. As you can see, unfortunately, a lot of the... I think the entire pike was cast in clear red for whatever ungodly reason. So, uh, unfortunately, it's uh, losing some of the paint as he's been holding it over the years. Anyways, let's finish this list up with the Shadow Scouts, a.k.a. the Storm Commandos. These guys are really cool. Now, this guy is technically just a Shadow Scout Trooper. He came in a convention-exclusive set with a Shadow Speeder Bike. Um, that's why his legs are a little wide, because he came packaged on the speeder. Love this figure. Um, really gives me some, uh, mid-2000s G.I. Joe repaint vibes. Especially from Wild Weasel. I don't know, something about it just gives me Wild Weasel vibes. Looking at that helmet and the really nice shiny, uh, really nice shiny visor right there. Articulation for the original Biker Scout, uh, original trilogy collection is pretty great to this day. It's still really nice. Uh, they, I think they have a version with ball hinged hips now, but still, I mean, it moves. It's great. It's a really great figure. Um, I'm just, I'm just happy this exists, man. It's really good. Please get back in focus. Are you trying to deceive me, camera? Are you trying to compromise my film? I don't appreciate it. Uh, anyways, let's talk about the guy in the middle next. This is General Weir. Uh, I believe he's from the Rogue Squadron comic books. I think he was responsible for killing Ten Num. Oh no, not Ten Num. Uh, yeah, I only know that because my brother actually read some of these comics. Um, he has a little pistol right there, which is cool. He is kind of a repaint of, uh, if you watched my Every Rex Ever, he's kind of a repaint of Nick Sant slash sort of retcon to Captain Rex, where he has a removable helmet. And he has this is interesting face. Kind of looks like Anthony Fantano, the music reviewer. Kind of giving me those vibes. Uh, he's very bald. Uh, you can put the helmet on. I, I've displayed him without the helmet for so long, I think I'm going to leave him with the helmet on. Because looking at this, it's way cooler. I love his straps. He looks really cool. I love the red. This makes him look different. And hey, he's a storm commando. That's really cool. So there is General Weir. And then let's show his comic pack uh, compadre which is a Storm Commando, uh, Shadow Biker Scout, exact same mold as that figure, but he is just all black. Really cool. A silver visor on this guy. Uh, he's pretty much just all black. He has a little bit of subtle paint, just ever so subtle for the undersuit. But other than that, man, he's just all black. These guys look really cool together. I'd love to have more of this guy to go behind him, but you know what? I have some other versions of Shadow Biker Scout Storm Commandos here, so I'm not too worried about it. Anyways... I kind of saved the best for last. Uh, this is the evolution of the uh, Commando, the Clone Commando set. This is the Storm Commando. Um, so he didn't come with this gun. Uh, I actually gave him the Clone Commando gun based on the, uh, the mods I have downloaded for Battlefront 2 on my PC. Um, the Storm Commando has this gun, and it's really fun. Uh, so, yeah, he does come with this gun, though, which is pretty cool. This little pistol-y thing. And he also does have this other little pistol-y thing over here, which is nice. Um, I do like those weapons, but I just like him having, you know, a Republic Commando Blaster. Now, of course, as you would expect, this guy is largely based off of the Biker Scout mold, but he has a lot of retooling. It's getting closer on this guy. He has a completely new helmet sculpt, which is really sweet looking. I love this new helmet design. He is covered in cat hairs for whatever reason. I have no idea. Uh, I believe he has a lot of other new parts. Definitely new legs. Oh my gosh, hairs out of the way. Um, new legs, I've no I'm noticing. Of course, a new belt to accommodate these new holsters. Please get in focus, buddy. Oh my gosh, golly gosh darn. Um, other than that, though, I think he's pretty much the same as the normal biker scout. 
uh, this guy is really cool. Uh, I would love to see at some point in the Star Wars universe. I think they've pretty much retconned uh, Storm Commandos out of canon. They're pretty much replaced with Death Troopers, probably. But Storm Commandos and Death Troopers, I would love to see together. That would be sweet. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Sorry that the white balance is so off. It's just these figures are so black and everything else is so bright white. Uh, I can't really help it. So there we go. There is every Shadow Imperial Stormtrooper kind of guy ever. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Shout out to my boy Comic Figure Blog for reminding me to do it. I appreciate it. Uh, anyways, that's another Storm Central out of the way. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Forest be with you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm holding up a burp. I need to just stop. Oh, the burp's gone. Okay. See ya.